Good morning, it's Jeff and Wilma here at Budroom. This, this morning our video is entitled Fibonacci Bunya. So uh, I, I got permission to search for some more bunyas yesterday where my, on the property where my bees are and I came home with th uh, three beautiful cones and uh, one of them had just had a bit of a split. So they, what they do is they drop off the tree onto the ground and then they sit there for a while and then they open up. So this one was just starting to split, so I prized it open, and look what happened. I, I couldn't go any further. So if you half close your eyes, that almost looks like the uh, the cone of a nautilus shell. And uh, and and if you uh, think of uh, the uh, Romanesco broccoli, uh, the Romanesco broccoli is uh, a, a fine example of. Uh, Fibonacci in nature, and uh, and when you uh, look at the uh, uh, point, the cone of the bunyana, you, you can see it uh, in the uh, pattern, uh, a little bit like a rose rose petals on on the end, on both sides, and you can and you can see your um, uh, pattern, uh, the same as pineapple has pineapples and that sort of thing, you know, so, but it, it looks really evident when you look on the inside, so you can see, does the camera pick up that, yes. the inside, and that inside corresponds with this uh, core, and, uh, and you can see your uh, growth patterns on the uh, core, and the same as the Romanesco broccoli, and and to me that's absolutely beautiful and you can see it um, on this piece uh, the way they're tightly packed together and you've got those philotactic ratios and angles. divergence angles and that sort of thing they're absolutely beautiful but um, getting back to the bunyas um, these I, I said on my other video about bunyas you wouldn't want to have them fall down uh, from the high part of the tree and hit you on the head. Or your car. Or your car. But if it hit you on the head, uh, you probably wouldn't live to drive your car again, would you? <laughs> so, no, you wouldn't be worried about it. If it didn't hit your car. So, um, but anyway, yeah. Now, this one in my hand is 4.8 kilos. The one on the chair is 4.9 kilos. But they reckon that they grow to 10 kilos just to give you an idea how, idea how big they grow. Uh, my biggest one last year was six kilos. Uh, the one that I acquired, that was the biggest one. I had a few last year around six kilos, they were good size cones. Apart from the beauty of the Fibonacci, there's quite a few nuts have come out of here that yeah. are very nourishing to eat and full of minerals and vitamins. Yeah. And we're going to uh, weigh it, because this one was what did I say? 4.9 4 altogether. 9, yeah. So I'm going to see how many nuts we get out of it. Yeah. There's quite a few there already. That was, I've still got all this to go. Yeah. Right. Always interests me um, the mathematical equation you see at the base of things in um, creation, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the conclusion was here we got 89 nuts. Uh, for just over one and a half kilos from a 4.9 kilo cone, which is not a bad, not a bad percentage return, no. really. All right. Anyway, uh, we'll, I'll close now. We'll catch you later. Bye.